Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the electronic structure of the group zero noble gases. You should then be able to explain why group zero elements are unreactive. And finally, you should be able to describe how the boiling points of group zero elements vary down the group. So far on this topic, we've been looking at the periodic table. In the last video, we saw that we can arrange all the elements into groups with similar chemical properties. Now one really important group is group zero, which is called the noble gases. The original periodic table produced by Dmitry Mendeleev did not feature group zero. And that's because the noble gases were not fully discovered until after Mendeleev developed his table. Here's the first key fact about noble gases. The noble gases are very unreactive elements, and you need to be able to explain why they're unreactive. Let's start by looking at the first noble gas, which is helium. I'm showing you here the structure of an atom of helium. Now I should point out that I'm not showing neutrons, as they're not relevant to this topic. We can see that helium atoms have two electrons, and these electrons are both in the first energy level. Now the first energy level can hold a maximum of two electrons, so in helium this energy level is full. Atoms are stable when they have a full outer energy level. So atoms of helium are stable, in other words they will not react. This shows the structure of an atom of neon, which is also a group zero noble gas. Neon has 10 electrons. There are two electrons in the first energy level, and there are eight electrons in the second energy level. Now the second energy level can hold a maximum of eight electrons, so you can see that in neon the second energy level is full. So because neon has a full outer energy level, Neon is an unreactive element. Here's the structure of an atom of argon, which is another group zero noble gas. Again, we can see that argon has eight electrons in its outer energy level. So again, because it has a full outer energy level, argon is unreactive. So here's the second key fact about the group zero noble gases. All of the noble gases have a full outer energy level, and this makes the noble gases unreactive. OK, I'm showing you here the boiling points of the noble gases. Notice that all of the noble gases have boiling points lower than room temperature, and that explains why they're all gases at room temperature. Now the boiling point of the noble gases increase as the relative atomic mass increases. In other words, as we move down group zero. So helium has a relative atomic mass of four, and helium has the lowest boiling point. Radon has a relative atomic mass of 222, and radon has the highest boiling point. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.